Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. So we've got something really good to show you today. But first, let's glance at a couple of things that viewers wrote us about pertaining to last week's video. A Miss Heard says, the fact this object looks so pristine, it makes her wonder whether the rover is actually sitting on Mars. I feel your pain, Miss Heard. Right up above it, NOAM, Noam, I think 65, brings to attention what really does look like a nut spun several threads down on a bolt. Yes, great find here. I love it. A rebar tubing or wiring just above it. And silver M1Y notes that there is a rectangular shaped object looking almost superimposed amongst the dirt debris. But on the left side, vertically, there may be writing. And now we're looking at a mosaic from NASA's Rover Curiosity, assembled from the images taken on Sol 1151 by the left mast camera. Now this is along the base of Mount Sharp. And like in so many other images, what would appear to be a river is right there. Now recall, at times we've found this possible stream to be painted over heavily. Sometimes in a Martian sand color, sometimes in a gray or blue. It's hidden often, but only slightly. It's very strange the way they're doing all this. Now let's focus our attention to the mountainous area in the back. Now many people insist there's dwellings back there, and it does appear possible. And some have noted a potential pyramid right over here. Now look what we get when we apply some contrast. I don't think that's a pyramid in the traditional sense, no. But it sure does look artificial. And just take a good look at, well, all of it. We've suggested that most of the hills, mountains, buttes, and so on and so forth that are being visited by Rover Curiosity are something far beyond simple geologic formations. I recall stating years ago that as much as 80% of these images we see that show large areas of terrain are fraudulent. Yet other so-called anomaly hunters continue to talk about carvings and rocks. You need to listen to me, folks. That's not what's going on here. Let's scoot on over to our right a bit, and we'll discuss size and distance later. But this is really, really good. Absolutely, positively, the remains of a structure back there. And that right there is just bizarre. We don't have any good stereoscopic imagery right now of this area in the back, mainly due to the distance. So we may just have to wonder what that actually is. And it's everywhere back there, we do believe. As for the scale, NASA doesn't have the area in the back mapped. But we were able to get some sizes checked on this side of the possible river. Now that formation is 197 feet from the rover. And the length across the ruler at the formation is 75 feet. So common sense tells us that those structures in the far back should at least be large enough to be consistent with what we'd expect to see. Now here's the navigational camera image where we did the measurements. And what is this? Tell us what you see here. We're very interested. See you next week.